Okay, I'm gonna continue going through um, order passeriformes. This is the AOS checklist of North American birds. Um, it's our definitive taxonomic reference and passeriformes is the last most recently derived order of birds, but it includes many, many families of birds that you can see in the Puget Trough area. We um, stopped talking about um, some of the passerines at um, family Troglodytidae. These are our wrens, and I'm gonna pick up at a family Cyclidae, Cyclidae, and this is the American Dipper. There's one representative from the family Cyclidae, and this is the American Dipper. And dippers are found um, in certain velocity and size streams. So streams with boulders and some rushing clear waters where you tend to find American dippers. Um, in the Olympia area, Tumwater Falls Park is a very reliable place to see dippers. Sometimes you really have to look for them. So there's, I believe, really only a pair there, maybe two. Um, but that's where you can find them um, around Olympia. But in, in other areas where you find large enough streams, you'll find dippers. Uh, let's see. Regulidae. We have two species of kinglet, golden crown and ruby crowned. Um, that can be observed in the spring here. They become actually harder to observe as spring progresses into summer because they move from being fairly social and conspicuous and making a lot of sound to being fairly quiet as they're breeding. Um, let's see. Going on down through some groups. Okay. So we will go to Family turdity. These are our thrushes and robins. And so our most common um, group member of turdity is what is for some people the very first Latin name they le learn, Turdus migratorius. That's the American robin. And American robins are all over the place making a lot of noise in the springtime. Um, but we also have some other representatives. Um, into the early spring, even into the very early summer, we sometimes hear and can observe varied thrush. And in their plumage, they have some similarities to American robin, but their behavior is fairly different. They have, they tend to prefer conifer forests and their, their song sounds kind of like a referee's whistle. And they tend to um, depart for breeding to higher elevations. And so we don't see them through the whole summer and our, their presence in the fall, winter and spring is highly variable. They, they come in lower and higher numbers in different years. Um, and then finally, Swainson's thrush. That's another common species of thrush found in the springtime and the summer. It's one of the latest um, migrants to arrive, usually not becoming common to observe until mid to late May. Okay, we don't in the Pacific and the Puget Trough area really find um, members of family Mimidae. These are our mockingbirds and our thrashers. Sternidae is an old world. Um, family of birds that have been introduced to North America, particularly the European starling, Sternus vulgaris, and they um, make a bunch of different kinds of sounds and can engage in some mimicry, but they're found in urban areas and even in some more farmland types of areas where they um, can sometimes usurp the nests of other cavity nesting birds. Um, Bombacillidae, we find cedar, that's, these are cedar wax wings. If you're lucky, every now and then people observe bohemian wax wings, but the most common is cedar wax wing. And they have a wheezy whistling sound that's distinctive. Okay, I'm, oh, oops. Okay. okay. Passeridae, these are old world sparrows. They're pretty diverse in areas of Europe and Africa. We have basically one that you can commonly find in the more urbanized areas, residential areas, and that's Passer domesticus. It's the house sparrow, and they really do hang out near houses and buildings and, and structures like that. Um, and I'm, I'm skipping over a few families where you might find some representatives. I'm really focusing on the common ones around the Olympia area. Family fringility, um, these are our finches. And finches are sometimes confused with sparrows because both have these conical sort of triangular shaped seed cracking bills. But finches tend to have yellows and maybe some reds in their plumage. They tend to have these very discreet sort of slightly forked tails 
and they tend to be found high up in trees and they tend to move actually long distance in search for the right types of seeds. But some of the common finch species that we can find around here in fringility include um, purple finch, house finch, pine siskin, and American goldfinch. Emberizidae, these are our sparrows. So sparrows also have these conical seed-eating bills, but sparrows tend to be browner and streakier and more hanging out in the understory and in low shrubby vegetation. And they tend to be a little more varied in their diet. They tend to include more protein and insects in their diet compared to finches. Um, and so they're, they're, they're following that group of what people call little brown jobs often. Although some of our sparrows really aren't that brown, they have some, sometimes some interesting plumage. So our common sparrows, the most common sparrow we tend to encounter around here is song sparrow. And they have a sort of typically sparrow streaky vegetate, uh, streaky plumage with some gray and brown streaking in the head and a very distinctive song. Um, some other sparrows that don't really look like sparrows are spotted towhee, which has plumage in many ways it looks like a robin, but its head is much a darker black, no white uh, plumage in their face, and a black bill um, and white spots on the dark mantle on their back. And they make a, a sort of explosive sort of call sound out here. Um, Dark-eyed junco, which sometimes is also confused with the towhee, not often confused with the robin, because they're much smaller, they have a pink bill, a dark head, and some and gray and pink plumage. Um, white crowned sparrow, which has white and black streaking on its head. Um, and then at the very end of spring, including right now, there are still golden crowned sparrows in the area um, that are closely related to white crowned sparrows in the same group, but they have black and yellow on their crown. Uh, and then depending on where you're, you are in the Puget Trough, you may encounter savanna sparrows. Okay. Just getting down to our next family. Okay. Icteridae. Okay. Icteridae are our blackbirds and cowbirds. And so the most common icterids in the Puget Trough would be a red winged blackbird your brown-headed cowbird, and then also western meadowlarks. So meadow, meadowlarks are also in this family. They have plumage that looks something maybe more like a sparrow with um, yellow and black and then some streaking on their back. They're found in grassland habitats, but their size and their facial morphology is really similar to blackbirds. Blackbirds kind of have this very characteristic sloping head that goes right into a sort of a fairly sharp looking bill. Brown-headed cowbirds, however, have a bill that looks a little bit more like a sparrow or a finch. Prulidae are our warblers, and these are our migratory birds. Um, and there are several species of warbler that are found in the spring and summer in the Pacific Northwest. The most common are yellow-rumped warblers, orange-crowned warblers, Wilson's warblers, um, and then there are yellow warblers found and McGillivray's warblers can be found and every now and then different kinds of warblers come through, but those are our most common warbler species in the Puget Trough region. Okay, um, family cardinality um, includes our tanagers and some of the gross beaks that can be found in the area. And so within the group um, Cardinate family cardinality, we can find our western tanager, which has just arrived. Um, we also can find um, certain types of grosbeak, including our black-headed grosbeak that um, is a, a sort of mid-spring arrival um, migrant. And we can also um, find, depending on where you are in the Pacific Northwest, you might encounter lazuli bunting. Um, but that, that's kind of hit or miss. Scrolling through, lots of tropical birds here. And um, that is it uh, for our 
taxonomic list of common bird species of the Pacific Northwest.